I've learned along the way that successful people never get too comfortable in their careers. Shamila Miller has never shied away from making bold moves into unfamiliar territory, as Zaki discovered when she met up with the spunky new member of the Issy Dingo team. Shamila Miller made her TV breakthrough in the youth drama series Amaza, in which she played the role of Aisha Ibrahim, a young woman determined to break the mold. She's gone on to build a career that has led to her being a 2016 Top Actor finalist, and her star is still rising. Have you ever been in a situation when you're looking forward to meeting someone but you just don't know what to expect? Shamila Miller just messaged me to say she's on her way and I don't know if I'm going to be meeting a jailbird or a surfer. I guess I'll just have to keep an open mind. Hello! Hey! How are you? So which character are you today? Are you a surfer or a drug mule or... <laughs> or pro-adventure pro golf person? Pro-adventure golf person. Like today, a pro-adventure golf person, definitely. Who's the real Shamila? A fun, sociable chilled out, optimistic person. What drew you to showbiz? I've always been a performer since I was a little girl. It's just always been something that's come naturally to me. And then that, you know, took me through to adult life. How did your parents feel about your career choice? They were very supportive in high school until I was like, so this is what I want to study. They were like, so are you sure? Like, is this the right decision for you? But until I kind of convinced them that like, this is it or it's nothing, they came around and they were like, okay, fine. You've recently moved up to Johannesburg. How does it compare to Cape Town? It's completely different. Also, I'm still trying to find my feet. I have only been here for a few months. But it is a different energy in the city here. And I'm quite enjoying it, actually. What do you miss most about Cape Town? The ocean. Yeah, I, I love being in the water. I'm a complete water baby. I grew up like on the beach. And I just like how close everything is also. Like, I feel, I feel like I spent a lot of time in my car and drove it. Congratulations for your role in Easy Dingo. Can you take us through your journey in the industry? I've only been doing this professionally for about three years. And my first role was that surfer on a mother. And uh, it was a lead character. I played a Muslim girl that was kind of into surfing. And that was a fun role because it put me on set like every day for 12 weeks. With regard to TV, I did a kids' adventure show called Challenge SOS. And then I did Force Love Season 2, where I played this like seductress farm girl. And then at the beginning of this year, I did a reality TV show. We did a lot of like acting challenges. We went through all of the genres that you could in the matter of like a couple of weeks. So it was a really like good learning process. Well, now we're both going to be playing another role, Adventure, Adventure Golfers. golfers. <laughs> Shamila and Zaki headed off to the start, where the holes looked a lot more manageable than their full-scale counterparts. Hey! Hi, your hello, hello, hello. Oh, there you go. Oh. What colour? Orange. Great, orange. No, yellow. Oh, damn. Oh, there orange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Do you want to go first? Uh, sure. Nice dance. Really? Are you yeah, joking? So you're not very good at this. I'm not very good at this. How am I so bad at this? I played hockey at school. Okay, this one's a par five. Nice! Ah! Ah! Yes. <laughs> so I don't think that we're very good at this. We just need to get our eyes in. You know hand, ball, eye coordination? No, we can't see the end goal. That's why. That's a challenge. Well, speaking about challenges, what are the challenges you've had to overcome whilst pursuing your career? For me, it's been personal challenges mainly. I've had to overcome, you know, my inhibitions and I had to get to know myself as a person to become a better actor. Shamila, I hear you worked in the circus for a while. What did you do? I was a floor fairy in the circus. We had to dress up in these elaborate costumes every single night and do these like crazy dances and like, entertain the guests and it was just like big and wild. What characteristics or traits do you think are very important when it comes to being an actor? Humility is at the top of the list. You want to keep yourself humble. You don't want to seem above everyone or above yourself even. Um, and then other than that, I think discipline is very important. Humility and discipline. Shooting a Maza was your first break. How did you prepare for the role? Actually, it's a funny story. I went to the casting, went to the callback, and they liked me and everything, but one of the characteristics of the character was that she was a surfer. And I did not know how to surf at all. And I kind of just went in there and I was like, yeah, I can surf, you know, I've come from a beach town. And the day I got the job, the, the next day, I was like, I have to learn how to surf, otherwise I'm gonna be caught out when I get to set. And that's what I did. I like, I went out, spent a couple of weeks out in the water. And I'm not a great surfer, but I could like, I could fake it and do it well enough. So that's, that's the thing, fake it until you can make it. 
Well, we're going to fake our amazing golfing skills. Who have been some of your favourite characters to play and why? One character comes to mind, uh, her name was Pam. I played her in a film that we did for the Silver Scout and Fierce called Number 37. Quite a dark film, set on the Cape Flats, and it was an homage to Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window. Gangsters, violence, craziness. It was my favourite character that I played. Tell us about your character on Izzy Dingo. I play the character of Danielle Scott, and she, she's such a brat, actually. She was an international supermodel doing cover shoots and magazine shoots and she had quite a blossoming career but she got involved with the wrong person and became a drug mule and is now sitting in prison. On that note, I actually have to get to sit, so I think we should get going. I'm great, yeah. Goody. Luckily, Shamila has let us tag along to sit to join her at the office. For all her easy-going nature, Shamila believes that punctuality is part of being professional. Knock, knock. It must take hours to make you look like a convict. <laughs> it does, so many. You get this look. What, what, is your, what is the makeup for your character? Basic, plain. Um, this is the most makeup that I've actually ever gotten, like a face of base. How do you feel having no makeup on set? I mean, I know a lot of actresses would cry at the thought. It's a character. It's not like you can walk into or onto a set and be like, I refuse to do this or that. No, the makeup lady will tell you what you, your character is looking like. And Amy knows exactly, exactly what she's doing. Exactly. Well, I'm going to leave you to your five hour <laughs> Thanks, Zach. So, this is my set. <laughs> I've never been to jail before. Oh, welcome. This is where I spend most of my time on the sit and go. Okay. <laughs> Shamila, no! I can't leave you here. Get me out of here. I didn't do it. No, you didn't do it. Yes, I can't live like this anymore. I don't want to leave you here. <laughs> Shamila, how much of your own personal life do you put into a character when developing it? It completely depends. If there's something that I can pull from in my own life, 100% I'll pull it because then I can feel it for real and I can understand it. Because if it can come from real life, then it's going to seem more real. And what's it like working with the Izzy Dingo team? It's been so amazing. I mean, I've been watching Izzy Dingo when I was growing up for years and years and years. So it's something that I've always looked up to. And I never thought that I'd be standing here on the set. And I'm working alongside Maurice Page and Shannon Ezra, and they are unbelievable to work with. And Shannon, I've been looking up to her as an actress for a long, long time. So it's been a completely like humbling experience to be working alongside her. And also the crew, they are so wonderful. So wonderful to, to work with. Quick quiz, favorite actor, male and female? Jennifer Lawrence and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Favorite movie director? Christopher Nolan. Favorite dish? Anything Indian food. Favorite way to chill? On the beach. Biggest fashion secret? I do sleep with socks on. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years' time? I want to get behind the camera in some way, either directing or producing. I don't know a lot about behind the camera stuff, so I'm looking at like shadowing at the moment. Hopefully by then it will be, you know, more rounded. What is your greatest goal in life? To be happy. That is my greatest goal in life. And any advice for aspiring actors out there? Don't stop working hard. Persevere.